got Barbara coming down here. Has Gaia... Gaia played Barbara? <laughs> like, I actually got to look back. He did pick a Barbara, but it was banned against Hong yesterday. Okay, I was like... And then he did play another Barbara in game two. Okay, so yes, it, it, this makes a lot of sense. It, it is the Barbara that he is scared of. Sierra first pick here for Gaia. And then Hong looking to go for Fran. And there's that... He's, t he's not sure. I mean, you don't like the early Molly pick. Yeah, I always tell you how much I hate that. Now, statistically speaking, it worked well against Gaia yesterday. I'll give him props on that. But I think I would still rather see Molly later on down the line. More often than not, players, when they lose, it tends to be because they pick these units way too early. But I'll give you the benefit of doubt this round, Hall. Taking that Molly pick has worked out so great. Maybe it'll this time as well as we see Vigor. And once again, Lauren, he's completely swapped up his strategy. Yeah, it is a bit different now here for Gaia. Things looking a little bit, you know, quite different actually against what he did Hong yesterday. He did he picked Vigor in the first one, but didn't pair it up uh, with Sierra and Lauren. So quite a bit different. Savannah could be coming down here for Hong, and she's incredibly, incredibly strong. And Another the, support. Yep, the Triana. So that's three supports. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Hong do this a lot yesterday. He loves stacking supports. I believe his last pick is going to be a threat, however. So I am not too concerned about Hong's draft yet. And now Gaia, knowing that there is a Triana on the field, I don't think he's going to go anything like water heavy. Obviously, Mina would be a horrible choice here. There's Savannah, Triana, even the Molly there. So he's going to be going for more consistent damage, Vertihal, and actually a Daphnis. Yeah, I really like this. This is a, a big time change up here for Gaia, that Vertihal. Uh, we didn't even see it yesterday against Hong for him. So uh, I really like that for him. Daphnis as well. We'll see what the last one going to be. Of course, Daphnis can blow up some of those wind Mons if they get through, and it's going to be the Leo. Wow. Okay, then. And that's, it's going to be banned. Yeah, that's going to get banned. Then, you know, whatever always gets banned as the last pick, it doesn't matter what it is. If it gets banned, it's a great pick. And right now, we have a match where <laughs> Gaia, he's got the Daphnis. He might have the speed tuning on Lauren and Daphnis, so Lauren's going to armor break for the Daphnis anyways. So he's targeting the Savannah here, and Vigor, he's going to be buffing the speed. I'm just reading play by play right now because <laughs> I fine. honestly don't know what's going to happen. I I'm pretty shocked here a bit. Now you get down to the rider uh, passive for Savannah, but she's in okay. a world of trouble. Goodbye. Almost takes her down. She survives with one HP. Yeah, the Sierra wasn't critting on that violent proc there. That is why it didn't do enough damage, but Triana passive is down. Savannah is down in her human form. He needs to go for the attack buff here. I was about to see. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you're confused, I'm even more confused. Now you're starting to do a little bit of damage, but there's a shield here onto the Dabness. Now you can put that armor break and the slow onto the Fran and do some really good damage with the Vigor. I Down mean, yeah. GG. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Yeah, I, that's it. Fran down. And like you mentioned, the, the Triana passive is down for another three turns. Now you do sleep the lore, and I guess that's something here. And you do strip off of the daff. You get a violent proc as well. And you're not doing a ton of damage here to Savannah. She hits decently hard in that rider form. Nothing super scary, but then you can just keep doing this stuff with Daphnis. And yeah, you know, the Savannah is holding on, but not by much. Yeah, I mean... Really, Gaia punished Hong heavily for his tendency to go overly heavy on support super early. Well, Triana, you know. Yeah, but the Triana passive is almost back up here. Yeah, it's up right now because Triana got the proc. She's getting clutch sleeps, clutch attack bar absorptions. And but Vigor is there to just heal everything back up. And Savannah not really doing enough damage to get much done. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. I mean, the Molly's gotten a couple nice procs as well to really make sure uh, that your Savannah's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, this is this is not looking good now. It, it, this is looking pretty pretty detrimental. Now, you do get able to cleanse uh, those bombs off of you, but, yeah, not looking good. Yeah, I mean, the Triana's getting some premium RNG, but bye-bye, Savannah, and Igor, one turn away from boosting everything to full HP. This is why I always say, I don't like Molly early. Yeah, and the Gaia learned his lesson. 
from yesterday for sure. And now you're just stacking debuff on top of debuff on top of that Triana. The bomb takes her down, and that's going to be game. Gaia taking it over Hong. The comeback, the turnaround could be happening here. Yeah, right now Gaia showed absolute dominance with this Lauren pick again, showing a lot of reliance on this Igor, Lauren, Vertahal type of lineup, and I'm sure he'll feel very comfortable doing it again in the next round. So if you're Hong, you need to watch out for that combo and find a way to deal with it quick. Yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised to see a Lauren ban out of Hong this time around. It worked really well for him yesterday. So I think it might be something he goes back into today would be my uh, sum or not him. It worked well for, yeah, there we go. It is the Lauren ban. Okay, so yeah, it, it was him that was banning it, right? I'm not crazy. Yay. Ragdoll going to be banned <laughs> by Gaia. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, you're always taking notes. So you're always going to be on point with what you're saying. Am I? Yeah, I, I mean, try. <laughs> Thank I, you. I, I don't even know what the heck they're picking. I'm just going based <laughs> off like instinct alone. As we see Sierra being Ooh. taken away by the Hulk and Gaia putting on the flashing lights, blinking lights. You know, I, I believe he does that always to taunt his opponent a bit. Because <laughs> he knows that Hong is really loving that unit. So he's just like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now Hong's doing it too. Well, I think Gaia might have been signaling like kind of like, I know what you want to do. So I might, you know. I might have an answer for it, so think about doing something else. I, I think we see this with these players every once in a while, where they'll do that kind of thing. Baird Triana coming down from Gaia this time, so Triana being stolen by Gaia uh, for this round, and then the Molly, and something else could be coming here for Hong, but you know, again, you know, it's going to be interesting. I mean, the Molly's late this time, but with Baird there, he seems to. He seems to be pretty good against the Mollies. <laughs> like we said, logic doesn't work against that Fire Vampire. He tends to crit anyways, and even given that Gaia's bird is not on 100% crit rate, it's critting enough, proccing enough, but this time we do see the Double Beast Rider that's always exciting, especially into a lot of supports on the side of Gaia, as Hathor gonna be locked down here. I would say normally that Hong has a better draft, but his team is also very weak once the Beast Riders get taken out of their beast form there's no Vanessa no revive once they're down they're down and that's that so I think this match is really going to be a close one okay let's find out it is going to be the Vanessa ban and then the Sierra ban so speed leaders getting removed from this one although you still have the France speed lead for Gaia which isn't as nice as the Vanessa and we are going into game number two this could be it. Hong's tournament life on the line. Can Gaia get it done? Yeah, Gaia, surprisingly enough, opted for the 10% speed leader there rather than the resist lead. And it's really paying off right now as he is showing so much rune death. Everything is so fast. He probably wants to try to sleep the daft this year. No such luck. And we do see the Masha getting that first turn. It's not going to pay off too much, though, because oh. she doesn't have a strip, but a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, Masha, 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 doing decent damage. Gonna there we go. Yeah, this could be it. This could be Triana down and out. That's going to do it. That Daphnis does eliminate her. You've still got two Beast Riders here for Ong, so this is scary, scary, scary. Yeah, so we've seen Gaia turn around these 3 v 4s many times, and he's really relying on the Hathor Sleep Vertahal turn rotation. So he needs to keep this Vertahal healthy at all costs. This skill 2 is going to not even connect yet because he knows he can save it. He's got time. Hathor skill 3 needs to land on everything. All right, here it goes. I'm assuming this is going to be that delayed promise. It is coming down, <laughs> and it's just resisted. Just not, it was like three, just nope, shrug it right off. Oh, man. Hathor, not really Gaia's best friend. This unit is not working out for him at all, it seems. And right now, this is going to do a big blow into Gaia's strategy. Hong has a really solid reign over this match here. Yeah, it's looking really nice for Hong right now and just trying to decide what to do with Molly. Going to put the shield onto the Barbara. Going to go with the safe play here. And you, okay, so a proc out of Hathor. Sweet Dreams comes through, puts that Barbara to sleep. That's nice. That's a start here for Gaia. Yeah, I mean, right now, because Gaia has not enough damage on this team, the Molly is actually really hurting him because Vertahal, he's doing a lot of damage. 
but he needs to find an opportunity where he can get a proc in to kill it before the molly moves, or at least drag the game out enough so that the Daphnis gets squishier. Oh boy, and you get a proc out of Molly. Doesn't get the strip anyway, but that Daphnis right back up to full Another health. Another chance! Alright, here we go. Delayed promise. Yourself. Can it do it? Let's go. Alright, everybody but Masha. Alright, well, at least there was three this time rather than one. I'm sure Gaia is going to be okay with locking down Masha and trying to take her out here. He's confident in his bird speed. However, she's going to cut in it's not going to too much, but if she proc, oh boy, that would have hurt. Yeah, the good news here for Gaia is you have two Mons who can get that attack break down and really make that Masha not nearly as scary. And that time, wow, another proc, Hathor. another proc for the Hathor, and still everything is asleep because Vared is keeping that speed so high. Attack break, this Masha is very, very low. She's going to get one chance, but she isn't going to hit super hard. We'll yeah, because of the attack break. Yep. And really, <laughs> this Hathor Ooh. was not very accurate, but she's getting the procs and... Oh, double glancing. First time I've seen that. <laughs> well, it, okay, now Hathor's skill 3 is back up because of all of this. So this Vared Hathor, you know, kind of pile up is doing very, very well. Let's get that delayed promise. Let's see what we land on top of it. And all three sleeps down again. Yeah, right now he's just going to go for the Daphnis. He identifies it as the squishy target. He has the highest chance of taking it out. Molly's going to come in for a little bit of healing. However, Daphnis is a couple punches away from death. Gaia being very smart, he's not going to go for the buff. He doesn't want to risk anything. Hathor right now going for the sleep. It glances. Daphnis can get one more Hellfire off. It is not going to be enough to kill. However, unless the bird is somehow squishy enough, but it's not. Okay, yeah, Vared does survive here, so he's got that going for him. Going to take that shield and the Daphnis out. Now you can start working down the Barbara. It's methodical. It's efficient here for Gaia. Yeah, I mean, he's just going to stack the attack break onto Barbara again, making her not as much of a threat onto his Vertihal because that's his main superhero that's been getting him this far into the game as he has one more turn to go until Hathor skill 3. She just keeps skill 3 nonstop. Yeah, it is just incredible how well Vaird pairs. Oh, the with skill 2. Oh, oh Vaird goes down, though. There's a chance here for Hong. Yeah, that was perfect timing right when Fran skill 3 was coming off of Bird. And now, with the main carry gone, Gaia is in a world for trouble. The Molly healing could be too much for him to deal with. And it's really tricky for him right now. He's struggling to decide who he's going to wake up. Not the best position for Gaia. Yeah, he had a weird, yeah, he's in a weird situation because if you wake up that Molly, it's just going to keep healing. I don't know if he has the damage to deal with it outright, so he has to go for the Barbara. But that Barbara hits like an absolute truck. Fran almost goes down, is able to come up in time to save herself. Yeah, right now the Barbara, uh, he may as well just use skill 2 for the extra damage and try to finish her off. That is going to be a death, Fran. No more sustain for Hathor, and she is not well known for her damage output, so she is going to have to concede here. Yeah, so Hong does take it. He wasn't able to keep the lockdown on long enough, or get it going early enough even, to really take control of the match. And once that Barbara just wakes up and decides to, you know, knock Baird off the stage, that's all she wrote. Yeah, I mean, that Barbara was the absolute carry for Hong there at the end. If he did not have Barbara there, literally most other units wouldn't have been able to turn that around. So the Molly pickup by Hong did come in clutch here. I really like that he went for it late, identifying that his opponent didn't have too much damage as we see the same pre-bans as game one. Yep, same exact ones. So Lauren available again. Uh, for Gaia, as this time around, you know, it's interesting that Hong banned it the first and last game against Gaia, but this time he kind of switched up his strategy a bit. Sierra first picked once again for Gaia. This time, how is Hong going to respond? Fran going to be picked again, but I, I assume he's going to rethink that Molly second pick. Yeah, I mean, that sounds good to me. He could even be cheeky and take Lauren away from Gaia here. That would be a viable strategy, uh, but however, he is really just going to struggle right now for the second pick, and I don't blame him at all. I would be struggling too. And Daphnis going to be the pickup. Gaia, he has shown that he can deal with this unit very well. He's opting for the Lauren and Vanessa. Yep, Lauren, Vanessa, he loves that combo for sure. Those mons have been all over. Very, very successful for Gaia. Now you're over to Hong. 
Two more picks to go, and he's really taking his time on this one. Of course, this is it. The last game. You really want to make sure you're not messing this one up. Vela Jewel and Molly. All right. Very, very defensive. Two units coming in. There's a plethora of immunity on the side of Hong here. There's Vela, there's Fran, and there's Molly. It's triple support again, and I'm sure his last pick is going to be some type of threat. And Gaia, he really got to figure something out right now because... If he doesn't find a way to go through all that sustain, he could be in for a bit of a trouble as we see that cat, the Mina, we love seeing her. She's going to be a very strong unit to counter the deafness. Yeah, I mean, if you can't get debuffs on the enemy, then why not pick a mom that it doesn't matter anyway? So it is going to be Tyrannus as the final pickup here for Hong, and now the post bans being thought about. I feel like Gaia may just opt to ban the Taranis or Daphnis. I feel like banning Taranis would be good for the, the Mina, right? But banning Daphnis takes away, I guess, the risk associated with always letting him through. So he played it safe, meaning this is going to be <laughs> basically spear versus shield. Yeah, That's what this match is. absolutely. That's a really good way to put it. I, and I think he's scared of that Daphnis because you, you've seen, you just don't want to lose that Sierra right out the gate. And this Lauren going to be the first one up again. She is wicked, wicked fast, is this Lauren. She's going to get the strip on oh. to the Fran. He tried to go for, you know, the gamble because why not at that point? Because if she doesn't crit, it's going to do a lot of damage on armor break. Whatever the case, Mina didn't need to hard carry because Sierra's going to finish her off. Now, there is going to be a revive coming out, but no Ganny on the field, so the cooldowns will be long this time. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, you can use that Tyrannus, but going to be a little bit of time before it is back, and now you can start working down this Vanessa a bit. There is the Forest of the Living, and back up is Fran there. The Provokes, it really matters how many units he can provoke there. Now, he only got one, so Sierra attempting the bomb, not going to work, but she needs to be cycling the turns anyways right now. She wants to get that skill three back up. Lauren really got to choose carefully who he pushes back because that will decide a lot throughout the match. I agree with the Velo Jewel. You need to get him out of the way so Sierra can carry. Yeah, here you go. And now it's going to open up the door. To keep oh, that frog is so... Oh, I feel for Hong right now. That was so dirty because Molly was about to save Fran, but <laughs> Kurt going down is going to be so, so devastating for Hong right now. Vanessa passive not even getting popped. The Mina so tanky. Yeah, okay, and there's that attack bar decrease. Even with the shield, it doesn't help, but might be able to keep this Vela Jewel up long enough. And now <laughs> Sierra is just nuts, man. She is absolutely insane. Yeah, proccing a little too much for the comfort of Hong right now. The skill three, cleanse and attack bar coming out. Molly, of course, really trying her hardest to keep the Velo Jewel healthy. Lauren, it's your job to strip. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> didn't really get it this time around. So you're just going to be able to do a little bit of damage to Tyrannus. This could be the uh, the Vanessa taking a bunch of damage, gets the dot onto it as well. Even more damage there with the proc. Yeah, I mean, if he takes out Vanessa, he's in for a really nice position because that will be an easy kill on Mina. So that Violent proc on Velo Jewel while he had the defense buff was absolutely what he wanted. Tarnus, I would say go for the stun here rather than skill 2. It's going to net you a lot more. He agrees with me. That was a very good play. He did not get it as Mina with the Meow Meow Punch. Woof, that is a dead Vela Jewel. Vanessa goes down as well. This one could come down to the wire between Hong and Gaia. Oh. That Mina still alive, but the proc from Molly's going to finish the job. Yeah, huge procs on both sides right now, allowing both of them to finish off units that they want to see gone. Sierra has a clear field. Everything is up for her right now. And she just got to not miss as he's going for the detonate. Tarnus might just die from it. That is the passive gone. Yeah, there you go, and Tyrannus oh my does gosh. Oh my gosh, another Sierra passive here. Absolutely insane. However, this is this is the chance for Tyrannus now. He can bring it back. Forest of the Living was up, so Fran is back up and running. Can we finish the job in time here from Gaia? I mean, he needs to land the pushback here or even just go for, you know, obviously 
the damage onto Fran, locking her down, forcing the shield out of Molly. Now keep in mind that Sierra proc a little too many times this match, and she just has all the skills that she needs. There's gonna be a bomb, lay it out onto TARDIS. I like the target getting hit another one. Oh my gosh, she's going oh. again! It is absolutely insane. Sierra gets bombs on everyone, detonates them, finishes the job, and Gaia with an insane Sierra takes it over Hog and moves on to the APAC Regionals.